Water. Without it, the life of a plant, an animal, or a person is inconceivable. Ironically, despite the huge volumes of water on the planet, access to fresh water is becoming increasingly difficult every year. Partly, desalination plants are designed to solve this problem, but existing plants pollute nature and consume too much electricity. And only recently has a new technology of seawater desalination emerged that can change the world. According to experts, the volume of renewable fresh water is estimated at 40,000 cubic kilometers or 16 billion standard pools. Of this volume, mankind takes only 10% and consumes only 5% of water. Where do the problems with drinking water come from then? It's all about the uneven distribution of this life-giving moisture. Most of all, it is concentrated in the Latin America region, almost 30% of the world's reserves, and in Asia where another 25% are located. In Africa and South Asia, where more than 3 billion people live, access to drinking water is seriously hampered by the lack of infrastructure for the extraction and distribution of such a valuable resource. But worst of all are the countries from the Arabian Peninsula, where there are huge deposits of oil but practically no fresh water. Therefore, it is not surprising that it is there that the world's largest seawater desalination plants are concentrated. Thus, in Kuwait, more than 254 million cubic meters of water are desalinated annually. More than 889 gigawatt hours is spent on this, which makes this resource quite expensive in the country and the region. The absence of large rivers and lakes exacerbates the problem with drinking water. If not for oil revenues, it is unlikely that Kuwait would have been able to provide its entire population with a much-needed resource. Israel is another example. One of the largest desalination plants, Sorek, is located 15 kilometers from Tel Aviv. Using reverse osmosis technology, the unit collects seawater and passes it under pressure through a semi-permeable membrane, making it suitable for everyday use. Sorek's capacity is 624,000 cubic meters of water per day. However, there are plans to build a second Sorek 2 unit with a capacity of 548,000 cubic meters per day. A larger desalination plant is being built in the UAE. Located near the town of Umm al Quwain, the plant will overtake its Israeli rival in reverse osmosis technology, with a capacity of 682,000 cubic meters of water per day. The work is expected to begin in the fall of 2022. The nearly $800 million project is being built by the Gajuba Group International Engineering Chinese Company. However, Saudi Arabia has the most problems with water. Having a large territory with many deserts, scorching sun, and a small number of rivers and reservoirs, the country is doomed to carefully build its strategy of providing water to the population and economy. Fortunately, with its money and scientists, Saudi Arabia has been able to implement several plans to tackle this problem, and the construction of the innovative city of Neom should be the apogee of the whole strategy. The news of the creation of a fundamentally new city of Neom was announced by Prince Mohammed bin Salman in 2017. The city named New Future should become the first in the world in terms of the introduction of innovative technologies in all sectors – energy, education, manufacturing, sports, food, and of course, water. The territory of the city complex will be an area of 26,500 square kilometers in the northwest of the country bordering Egypt, Jordan, and the Red Sea. Two-thirds of the land allocated will not be urbanized. This is done so that nature is just a five-minute drive from the metropolis. The prince also promised that Neom will be independent of the existing state system and the energy will be fully renewable. Currently, active work is underway on planning the city, initial construction, and attracting specialists. The estimated cost of the project is $500 billion, which has already been allocated by the government. The first part of the work is planned to be completed by 2025, and by 2030, the prince hopes that it will already be home to 1 million people. However, there remains a problem with access to drinking water. Saudi Arabia is home to four of the 10 largest desalination plants, with capacities ranging from 600,000 to 1 million cubic meters of water which provides 50% of the population's needs. The plants mainly use classic distillation technologies, the conversion of water into steam, which is then condensed back into pure water. The disadvantage of such technologies is the large electricity demand. 
Thus, the largest installation in the company requires 2400 megawatts of installed capacity, which is equal to two blocks of a nuclear power plant. There is also an environmental problem. For every liter of clean water, there are 1.5 liters of brine, a contaminated liquid with a high concentration of salts and minerals. If we do not carry out the process of its disposal, then this concentrate is capable of poisoning rivers, lakes, and even seas, destroying all living things. But it is not in vain that NEOM set itself the goal of using innovative technologies in all sectors. NEOM's water solution company has found its own approach to seawater desalination, which in the future could completely change the Arabian Peninsula and then the world. The technology that is proposed to be used in NEOM, like everything in Genius, is quite simple and witty. Engineers proposed to build huge spherical structures where seawater would be supplied. Solar concentrators placed around the sphere will capture the sun's rays and direct them to the dome heating it. The hot dome will vaporize the water, which will then be extracted and condensed into a usable resource. In this case, the remaining salt concentrate will be extracted and processed to obtain useful substances such as lithium. The prototype of such an installation is the Sun Solar Complex in Uzbekistan. Launched in 1987, the solar oven was able to raise the temperature in the process tower to 3,000 degrees Celsius in just a few seconds. At the same time, the operation of the tower is completely harmless to nature, and the temperature level can be easily changed by deflecting part of the mirror concentrates to the side. However, the project itself is completely research and does not provide commercial benefits. By creatively refining this idea, Saudi Arabia was able to come up with more beneficial applications. For the city of Neom, this technology is of paramount importance. By providing the population with clean drinking water free from harmful emissions, Neom's water solution company looks further. The units provide an opportunity to obtain environmentally friendly hydrogen, which is so necessary for industry and oil refining. A variety of salts and minerals from the brine will be used to create a nutrient mixture that will be used in hydroponics. An example of such high-tech farms of the future is already being implemented in full force in Singapore. If the NEOM project succeeds, we will have a chance to slightly change the global problem of drinking water for the better. Let's hope and wait.